it's really nasty and wet out. Can't do anything out here. I've got leaf jobs I need to do, but it's not gonna happen today. So what I need to do is I've got an oil leak on the Honda and it's coming from the uh, valve cover right here. You can probably see where the grass is building up, but it's it's leaking at the bottom. This is kind of a common problem with these and you can probably see the nasty oil and grass mixture we got in there. So I'm going to clean that up around there and then we're going to take this valve cover off and uh, see if we can't fix this. Disgusting. It's got a lot of oil in there. All right, so uh, I pretty much got everything as clean as I could under there, at least for now. So what we need to do is we need to uh, take these four bolts off. Right, so the um, there's not a gasket on here. There's some adhesive, kind of like that's similar to RTV. It's called Honda Bond. That's what we're going to go back with. And a lot of times people have trouble getting these off because they end up bending the valve cover. But uh, got this off last time without bending it, so. Let me see if I can get a pry bar and get in there. All right, so I have tried and tried. I'm not gonna be able to get this valve cover off without bending it. You can see I'm sort of bending this a little bit right here. So I went ahead and ordered a, a brand new valve cover. Uh, they're only like 10 or 11 bucks. And also the camshaft seal O-ring, which we'll be able to get to when I get this valve cover off. So I might as well replace that when I'm doing this job. I already have the Honda Bond. So we'll uh, we'll just wait when I get it. We'll pick the video up right then. All right, so I see another little problem here. Um, I've got the piston at top dead center, all right? And the way that you know that the cam is at top dead center, whoop, the way that you know that the cam is in the right position, you have to use a mirror. And I don't know if the camera's gonna see this, but there's two little, there's a hash mark there, and there's one there on the underside right there of the cam those two hash marks they run this way and this way and they line up with the edge of this right here and my valve I'm gonna pull this intake valve rocker arm off okay this is the one I replaced last time because it broke. And I'm going to push this in like this. I'm gonna show you guys something that the valve stem is working its way out again. See how far this is pushed out? See right here, hopefully the camera's picking it up. The way that this valve is supposed to be it, this piece right here is supposed to be much further in there. So I'm gonna have to take a little punch. 
or not a punch, I'm gonna have to take a, a socket and drive that back in there. This is a problem with these engines. Uh, thank goodness I caught it because if it had come out a little bit more, it will bind the rocker arm up and it will crack it, snap it in half. Um, so this is a design flaw with these engines. So I'm using a 732nd socket. This is a quarter inch drive. And I'm gonna show you, you can see the, the valve slides freely. See the stem? All right, but this right here, this has to be much further in. So I am just going to put my Sock it over like this. Let me do it on the other side. I'm going to uh, All right. So when you get it adjusted properly, or when you get this seat knocked back in there properly, this will be really should be really easy to move, just like that. Now make sure again that this is at top dead center because uh, it is possible that if it's at the bottom of the uh, the pistons at the bottom of the cylinder that this valve could fall down in there. So that's uh, that's pretty good right there. So I'm just gonna have to make this part of my routine, I suppose. I heard that there is a fix. You can take the uh, you can take another. Um, like the intake uh, hoop or umbrella and put it on this one and it will prevent it from coming out but I, I, I don't know about that who knows it's just a bad design all right so I'm just gonna take the rocker arm and uh, it just goes back in here like this and just slides down in there so now we have full intake valve travel so I was not getting full travel obviously because since that seal of the valve stem had moved up it was not allowing the uh, complete travel so I guess while I'm in here uh, I'll go ahead and check these clearances with uh, my feeler gauge and I'll adjust those I had already my previous video I showed how to do that so I won't bother boring you guys with that again all right so I'm gonna clean off the uh, area right here where we're getting ready to pull out our pin that keeps the uh, camshaft gear right here or actually the, it's actually the camshaft There's not much pressure on this pin. I'm thinking if I pull it out very slowly, I don't want the cam gear to move. So I can see the O-ring. It's right there on the end. See the cam gear? It's that little o-ring right there and this hard is a rock so that's definitely where some of the oil leak was coming from all right well i'm going to uh turn the camera off uh, all i'm doing is replacing that o-ring so i'll be right back after i do that all right so i have put the honda bond around the valve cover on the inside and i'm just gonna Apply it very slowly to the front. Just like that.
anyway all right so everything's good and i'll go ahead and end the video off here i'm going to do a little cleaning on the cylinder head over here it's a little bit dirty hopefully this video helped you guys um it's not a hard job to do if you do have one of these engines this is a known issue with that um that valve stem seal coming loose and it will uh, prevent the mower from running eventually and it will crack the rocker arm but i have another just search my channel i have a video on that it's uh, i believe it's titled the honda won't start or something like that but anyway I, I show how to fix all that anyway guys thank you very much and i will talk to you on the next one